Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do you need to hear and know? Messages please for Taurus. Someone rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Taurus, whoa, what's that? Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, Ten of Wands. You could be letting go of a burden. Letting go of something that has been weighing heavily on you. Some of you are releasing something. Some of you are just taking things off of your plate left and right. You know, learning how to say no. If things are too overwhelming, some of you are saying, nope, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. So some of you this week, you could be prioritizing, okay? Trying to triage things. <clears throat> what What is of importance in my life and what needs to be put to the side? We have the High Priestess. Some of you are releasing a Pisces. Seven of Cups is here. Yeah. Some of you could be... I think I got this for you a few months ago. This had to be a few months ago. Because I'm remembering a reading from way back where I was telling you that some of you could be very spiritual. Uh, stepping into spirituality. Using your spiritual gifts. Some of you could get an answer from your dreams, okay? Something that you've been dealing with, something that has been weighing heavily on you, you may get the answer through your dreams. Spirit may speak to you. Remember, the High Priestess is a very spiritual card, okay? So you may finally get the answer that you've been seeking. Some of you, like I say, in your dreams, or you may have a vision, okay? Premonition as well. Very spiritual energy, but let's see what this is. What else is coming through for Taurus? Let's get into it. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? <clears throat> for Taurus, Ten of Wands in reverse. What is that energy? <clears throat> the Death card is here. Scorpio's energy, you Taurus. <clears throat> the Harfunt and the King of Pentacles, your energy some of you are transitioning. You could be ending something that was major, like ending a major career, like a major career change or transition Transition happening for you. And you guys, Mercury retrograde, like I said on Aquarius's reading, has had me in a chokehold. So excuse me for tripping over my words in advance, okay? Because I'm sure it will happen again. But some of you could be going through a major transition with a, a job or your career in some type of way. Some of you may be stepping up to more money. You don't have to work as hard with the energy of the Ten of Wands being in reverse. It's like, oh, I finally get to take over the company or I finally get the position that I want. Harfont with the King of Pentacles. I finally get the position that I want and now this is over, Okay. The struggle is over. Some of you getting married with the energy of the Harfont, okay? And the death card. Something major happening for you, Tauruses. Five of Wands is here. Two of Wands. You may have had to fight to make this decision. Some of you have gone through a lot of conflict, adversity, okay? Yeah, there may have been a lot to talk about, to sit down, to handle, to go over, to discuss. A lot of negotiating as well. Okay, some of you may have just sold a house if you're into real estate, okay? You may have finally sold the house that's been on the market for a while. King of Swords, yeah. I, I just feel like a lot of you are getting like a lot of recognition or respect with that energy of the King of Swords. Like finally you get some respect that you've been needing or wanting with your career especially, some of you, I feel like through marriage, your life is going to completely change, okay? Now, others of you, it's like choosing to release a marriage, finally ending a marriage that you've been in for a long time. You've been conflicted on whether or not to leave this person. This could be uh, uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that you are walking away from. Yeah, okay. A lot of messages coming through, so grab hold to what's yours, okay? Pisces energy. <laughs> I'm looking at this. Pisces energy with the high priestess. What is this for um, for Taurus? Sorry. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen again. Justice is here. Libra. Two of swords. 
the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you might have a decision between a really older person and some of you a younger person. You might have a choice here. Some of you, it could be a Libra or a water sign. It could be a younger water sign that you're looking at. Yeah, for some of you, a Pisces in particular. Mm, what is this? Lovers is here. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. Some of you, you may not know who you want to date, okay? That could be the energy of the Seven of Cups. You could be online dating or you could be dating a lot of people at one time. You could be trying to make a final decision on who you want as well. Whoa. Capricorn's energy. It looked like the card was already flipped over. The devil energy is here. See, this is this is what I'm getting. <clears throat> the lovers with... <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Let me take a sip. Okay. So the lovers with the devil energy, it's almost the same card. It's almost identical, okay? It's like good versus the evil one. <laughs> but the three of pentacles is sitting there in the middle. So it's like you're trying to decide which lover is better for you. Flipped or reverse, this could be someone trying to decide that about you and someone else. But I feel like this is your energy. I feel like some of you could be dating more than one person or interested in more than one person here. Okay? You may be feeling very drawn to these two people. Trying to make a decision with the two of swords there. Mm. Show me the seven of cups over here for Taurus. We have the Queen of Cups here. The Page of Swords. You could have a water sign spying on you. Very interested in you. Wanting the Ten of Cups with you. A water sign here. Someone has a lot of emotions. Show me. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Someone feeling very... I feel like... Missing you or missing your presence being around or they miss you when you're not around, but not letting you know at the same time. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to take this action toward you, though. To talk to you, to tell you. Page of Pentacles, they're kind of shy about it. Yeah, who is this person? Nine of Cups. For some of you, it is a water sign. Mm. Someone who has a lot of desire, look at all those cups behind him, but with the uh, on the Nine of Cups, this man has his arms folded. So it's like kind of sitting back with all these emotions, but not fully releasing. Six of Swords going slow, taking their time to approach. We have Magician, Gemini's Energy, Seven of Wands. Judgment. Yeah, this could be someone who's fighting for a second chance or someone who's fighting to get your attention. Okay, really wanting your attention here. Yeah. How's Taurus feeling? How's Taurus feeling? Temperance. <clears throat> Sagittarius energy. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. So... You're taking your time, okay, when it comes to opening yourself up for a relationship. <clears throat> you're being very smart about it, very smart. So you may have boundaries in place, certain standards that you want this person or these people to meet. It's like, yeah, I want a relationship or I want something stable. I want to get to know someone on more of a serious level, but I want to make sure these people meet the criteria. Simple as that. Four of Pentacles, how is Taurus feeling? Eight of Cups is here with the King of Cups. Yeah. You have feelings for someone, <laughs> but it's like, I'm not going to open myself up unless I know that this person has big feelings toward me. Okay. Eight of Cups, you may be holding back Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, keeping your distance as well. Five of Cups, 
because of past situations where people may have juggled you, two of pentacles may have kept you like in limbo, <clears throat> where you didn't know how a person really felt about you. People could have kept you waiting, seven of pentacles. Yeah, so you've already been there, done that, and you don't want to do that again, like being stuck in that five of pentacles or five of cups energy sad having regrets you know it's like I've been there done that you know I don't want to keep repeating that and so now you've learned to be the queen of swords and have boundaries it's like you know this person or these people really need to to show me how they really feel about me okay anything else for Taurus this week anything else they need to know this week we have the ace of cups here we have the six of cups Wow. And we have Leo's energy with the strength card. Yeah. Some of you could have a brand new Leo coming into your life. You could be connecting with the Leo. This could be an opportunity for new love. Some of you could be emotional over your past as well with the Ace of Cups. That could bring in a lot of emotions. Thinking about your childhood with the energy of the Six of Cups. You guys, we just had the solar eclipse. So... Emotions are very high. So a lot of you could be thinking about your childhood, thinking about your past, some difficult things that you've been through. Queen of Pentacles is here. Your energy. Four of Cups. And the Three of Cups. Some of you may need to like get out more this week or try to socialize more. Have fun. Have fun this week. Okay? <clears throat> I feel like there's something about being bored or feeling bored or feeling like maybe you feel tired, okay, with the energy of the Four of Cups. It's like, uh, I don't really feel like going now, but you may need to. Three of Cups, it may re revitalize you or give you energy, okay? Yeah, the Fool, do something that, that you haven't done before. Go ahead, take that leap of faith, Page of Wands, say what you need to say, do what you need to do. Go on a journey. The Page of Wands is also about taking a journey, okay? Ace of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like with that bright, shining coin, it's like spend some money, do something fun. You know, don't just spend money on other people, but also invest in yourself, okay? This week, yeah. Anything that Taurus should know about these people, the situation, these people... Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, anything Taurus should know? Love. Wow. It says adore, admire, enchantment. Someone is in love. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Look, we had escapade flip in reverse. Let me show you show you the card upright. Escapade. What it says is vacation, hideaway, adventure. <laughs> and that is in reverse. Uh-oh. So I feel like, I mean, I was just saying some of you may need to get out. You may need to do something for yourself. Maybe you feel like you don't want an escapade with someone, okay? You don't want to go on another adventure with a person. Maybe you don't have the patience for that. It's like, I want real love in my life. Yeah. What else? For Taurus that they would need to hear or know about this person. Lockbox. Someone is feeling trapped. It says closed in, trapped, frustrated. I got this card for Aquarius as well. Someone has a lot of desire. Look at that card, y'all. Ooh. That's what I said. You may have more than one person very into you. It says lust, sexual chemistry. Someone, I'm realizing that these cards don't show up as well on camera as I want them to. At the bottom, what it says is lust and sexual chemistry. But I do see that it's kind of cut off there um, on the cameras too bright. But yeah, a lot of love, a lot of desire. And it was that energy that I was feeling good versus evil. Like someone is feeling all of these love feelings, but you also have someone that could be feeling very passionate or sexual toward you. Happiness. <laughs> it says wholeness, overjoyed, smiling. Some of you, you could come into something. Like I said, some of you could be getting married or stepping into that. Yeah. 
That's what I was getting over here. Some of you could be happy or feeling happy with breaking up with someone as well. Mm. At the bottom of the deck, Archangel Michael. Okay, it says protection, prevented from harm and divine intervention. So know that you are protected from lower energies. If someone is exiting your life, know that it's for a reason. Okay, okay. If you are ending something, transitioning with your career, know that it's for a reason. You are being protected. Okay, advice or insight. Let me come to this deck. Any advice or insight for Taurus? Give me one card for Taurus this week. Relationships are assignments. So if if you were with someone for a while and things didn't go well or things are breaking up, you're going through divorce, just know that there was a reason why you were with that person, okay? You learn something from them and they learn something from you. Relationships are assignments. We are assigned to people and people are assigned to us as we go throughout life. Okay. Sometimes relationships aren't meant to last until you die. Sometimes they're for a season, you know, and that's the hard part. It's, it's all a part of life. It's different cycles that we go through as we age. Okay. And sometimes it is hard to let go. So yeah, there you go, Taurus. That is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.